All right, my friends, on the last video, we were able to fire the remove save item action on our span. It's time for us to uh, write the necessary changes here inside our reducer. Now, here we are checking for the type of the action. It was if, if it was add, then we are going to add the item. Here we want to add an else case. So I'm just going to say else if else if like that i'm gonna check uh, check once again for action dot type we are gonna check for the type if it's a triple equal to remove underscore item because this is the type of the action that was defined here inside our actions file if that was the case then what i'd like to do i'd like to remove that item and once again we can access the item through action dot payload because the user will send us the ID of that of that item in the payload so we can say action dot payload in order for us to get the item that we want to remove so but before doing that here I have told you previously a very important note and it was about the state right here inside your reducer you are not allowed to modify or overwrite all the properties right here you are only allowed to modify the data that is being used inside this reducer in this case this this reducer is responsible for the saved array so it has nothing to do with the input search as well as our courses array so while you are returning I'm gonna return an object because my state right here it's an object and what I'd like to return right here, I'm going to keep all the, the, the same state. All right. I don't care about the rest of the state, but I'm going to update the saved array. All right. Because this is the job of this, uh, the, this reducer, which is to modify our saved array. And I'm going to set it to be a new value. And we are going to filter our saved array with uh, the action dot payload. So I'm just going to say saved or state dot saved. I'm going to get the data back and say dot filter. I'm going to filter it because it's an array. And here I'm just going to say item and I'm going to say item dot ID is not equal to action dot payload. I'm going to explain everything. So here I am returning all the state, but here I am updating the saved array to be whatever the previous value and I am filtering it with if, if the item dot ID I am iterating through my array all right and if the action dot payload which is the ID that will be passed by the action itself when we are firing this action if the ID was the same that was clicked on then I'm gonna remove it otherwise I'm gonna keep it in our array that what does this code right here mean well there are a lot of filtering algorithm but i think this is the easiest one all right if we go back now our code should work just fine so i'm gonna add this one and this one and this one if we go back and if we click on remove all right it is not working now let me check our reducer it is 100 percent correct going back to the saved item here we are importing the the action here we are adding it to the object and here we are firing it up okay here is the problem when we the, the connect function what it's gonna do it's gonna take this object and set it as a props for this component so the remove saved item action will be available as a props for this component so that's why here we need also to destructure it all right and that should give us a working result so i'm gonna add this one and this one and this one going back right here i'm gonna remove this one this one and this one pretty pretty straightforward so as you can see ladies and gentlemen in this video we have almost finished the saved uh, functionality now we have a really good stuff that working so this one and this one and this one and this one and if we go here we have them here inside our 
said array however if I filter them right here and go back they still right here because this component is completely in isolation from our home component and we have a filtering stuff that works right here now once again the whole idea about adding these functionalities it is not to get them works I don't care about this application I don't care about any application that we have built up to this point I have only one goal in mind which is to make sure that you understand Redux understand react how to deal with react router so this is my whole point all right for example we have some details that we didn't focus on for example the margin here in between the title and the author and this right here so these are details that you you can write a CSS code better than me so I don't care about them but I really focus on the the hard parts all right and I'm gonna keep the easiest stuff for you all right so once again we have added the uh, the saved functionality and adding and filtering and removing and all kind of stuff I think the only part is missing right here let me get our data back let me show you the final result the only the only stuff that is missing first of all to display a counter right here on the navigation here with how many items that we have this is the first task the task the second task it is to display some icons uh, the third task to also here we have a very good functionality here if the item was added then I'm gonna display this icon which is a colorful icon if the item is not added to the save then I should display this icon this is will be our third task and also the fourth task if I open this up in uh, to show the details we will have this icon right here we, where we can add and remove item from the seat so we have fourth task uh, or uh, four task that should be done that's what we are gonna do in the next few videos so hopefully that makes sense thank you my friends so much for watching really appreciate your time and see you in the next one